Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at build 4, well you asked for it, so I made it. The growing stuff. Now, it took me some time and I tested it uh, so many times until I find something that works well. Uh, I first tried with the Renegade Armor, but it didn't work well, I actually had here... Um, uh, I forgot the name, just, <laughs> just a second, yeah, uh, Reckless. Uh, it didn't work well, so just... Of course, remove this. Uh, I didn't have anything better, so use Tumblebee because Tumblebee is actually uh, taunt enemies or, and I have acrobats. I told myself, um, eh, why not? I mean, when I roll. So, this, if you have a chilling here, this would be better. But I think that's what I have. So, I'm using Renegade Armor with Deflect, damage reduction, uh, uh, acrobat because I'm going to reduce, reduce the cooldown also for the bow when I roll. So, I have frequent rolls. I can use this one more often, especially the gong is very important. Uh, potion barrier. Now, I'm using growing stuff with radiance. Yo, spooky, what's up, radiance with <coughs> this speed? Well, uh, come on, wait a second. So, basically, uh, I'm using radiance here, and radiance will work well for this for two main reasons. First of all, we're gonna have lots of speed when attacking, and actually, I want this one with very fast attack speed. Second, we're gonna have uh, lots of reduction of damage. Uh, even more if I had chilling here, but I don't. Uh, so basically, uh, damage reduction here. Uh, we also have deflect, all right? And um, we're gonna have ironed amulet. So basically, this kind of uh, uh, put us in a situation we don't need to heal all the way because we're not gonna lose lots of health. So radiance here will actually balance very well. Again, this is fully tested. Uh, we also have a gravity. Uh, because gravity synergy as well with exploding, we group up enemies, uh, they just uh, push them into our uh, impact point of the weapon. Uh, and also, of course, we're going to deal damage to more enemies like this. And uh, when they explode, of course, they're going to deal damage to nearby enemies, 60% enemies' health as damage, which is great. As you can see, the growing stuff is increased attack speed, rampaging. So we have both the rampaging, we have depth cut mushroom. And we have the plus 25% melee attack speed. So instead of kind of having a very, not a very, but it's a slow weapon. Okay, very slow. Uh, we're going to have it, uh, I mean, very slow is something like here, right? So this is slow. Uh, we can have actually a fast weapon. And actually Radiance will kick in very, very well in this aspect. We also can heal uh, when you have uh, uh, with Anima Conway as well. So this also helps. Um, so overall this kind of balanced very very well everything is balanced very well all right let's try it out so basically what you need to understand here that the goal is was to create uh, use a slow weapon make it very fast and use radiance of course usually what i do is just go with leeching it's the obvious choice but i want you to try out the build uh, with radiance just in case uh, you have uh, this one uh, with radiance and not with leeching uh, you can try it out and of course in order to it to work well I need to have speed and then you can actually see that I'm radiating uh, very frequently with this weapon it's supposed to be very slow not very again slow keep in mind it's still not complete I really wanted chilling but I didn't have it with chilling it would balance even further it would be like perfect with chilling but I didn't have it unfortunately uh, but again remember always to roll and you can see that I'm radiating a lot the idea is that when you roll, you can have your iron and amulet, mushroom, and the gong active very, very quickly. You can use it every time you like. Maybe the gong will need a bit more rolls, uh, but overall, again, you don't need the gong to happen every every time. And this is actually a level where things can be really kind of tough and tight. Uh, and of course, we have the potion barrier just in case. Uh, it doesn't matter. So in some situations, you can die very fast with many, many builds. So they always have, if you have the potion berry, you can just tap it and uh, have it ready just in case. So yeah, uh, a build for growing stuff with Radiance. With, uh, by the way, it's, the idea is to create a very fast attack speed. And it, it makes the, this weapon so much more fun to play. Uh, this was the goal from the beginning. And I really wanted to use uh, Radiance because I'm actually attacking very very fast so it's actually very nice to create a build that is well balanced but again if you have chilling you got the really the best one really because you can feel much less damage coming uh, towards you and by the way what I can do on my growing stuff I actually have 
uh, enchantment that reduce uh, attack speed. So I can actually use it instead of the gravity. So I can replace it and maybe it can work better. But the thing is that I really enjoy uh, being able to kind of group enemies and, uh, with exploding. Yeah, another thing that you can have uh, is uh, maybe gravity on the armor, so you can actually pull enemies towards you from further away. And again, this will synergize with uh, exploding as well. But usually, sometimes you can invite things that kind of uh, you know make it maybe too much. So this is it: a very fast attack speed for the growing stuff. Uh, they did lots of damage. It's very well balanced when it comes to incoming damage, and you can see that we came right at the end very often with this one. Uh, considering this is not a very fast attack speed, but we have extra speed with everything, and this works very well. Um, yeah, other than this, remember, if you have chilling, it would be perfect, because then you're going to get even much less damage. Uh, it's going to be a celebration. But yeah, this is the build, a very fun build for the growing stop. It's a bit different, I know, no leeching here, but again, I wanted to create something different, because what's the point creating the same thing, right? You know, like every kind of other... Everything that everybody goes with, right? We try to play a bit. Maybe, maybe some of you have enchantments that, you know, I'm not very popular, but still, I'm trying to create the build that they can work with and you can create uh, something interesting that will work well for you and you can enjoy playing with. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, please consider leaving a little like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you very soon with more cool Minecraft Dungeons builds. See ya!